In fact, today we're joined here by the ISS National Lab and 20 of our U.S. commercial partner companies. The commercialization of low Earth orbit will enable NASA to focus resources to land the first woman and next man on the moon by 2024 as the first phase in creating a sustainable lunar presence to prepare for future missions to Mars. Thank today you. is a very remarkable day. NASA is opening the International Space Station to commercial opportunities and marketing these opportunities as we've never done before. Uh, we're announcing the ability for private astronauts to visit the space station on U.S. vehicles and for companies to engage in commercial profit-making activities on the station. To live and work aboard the International Space Station over the last 20 years, know what an incredible experience it is and the unique value of the microgravity environment for research, development, and technology advancement. We are so excited to be part of NASA as our home and laboratory in space transitions into being accessible to expanded commercial and marketing opportunities, as well as to private astronauts. The commercialization of low Earth orbit will enable NASA to focus re resources to land the first woman and next man on the moon by 2024 as the first phase in creating a sustainable lunar presence to prepare for future missions to Mars. Kinds of creativity and literally out of the world ideas can come from private industry. We've tried to define many of the key parameters necessary for a company to build a business plan. However, the this plan does not conflict with the government needs for the space station nor the Center for Advancement of Science in Space cases that manages the ISS National Lab, but it allows the private sector access to the most amazing research facility ever built by humankind. So you can use this facility to generate revenue for yourselves. This is a huge different way for us doing business. And Robin, do you want to describe that more in detail about uh, what U.S. government astronauts will be allowed to do for commercial and marketing activities and what private astronauts will be allowed to do? Product development, some more research that has potentially commercial uh, posture for that. So we'll spend some fun money there. We'll spend a little bit of money maybe helping things moving forward, but it's not pure commercialization. Do the international partners get an allocation on this? I mean, is this really competition or is this something totally different where cases is sort of put aside in one way and the commercial stuff is put in another way and this... Uh, to go further into space and get to Mars. And our last one from Jose, uh, what's the legislative nature for private astronauts? Will it be restricted to U.S. citizens only? Yes. <laughs>